up guys um, today we're gonna talk about body fat percentage um, and how to measure it but before we talk about like the different methods of measuring body fat percentage I just wanted to say like as kind of a disclaimer that uh, body fat percentage although it is a useful tool for tracking your own progress it's not very useful um, for like comparing yourself to others um, like for example let's say like some of you guys out there might be watching uh, I don't know like Matt Ogus um, and you might think, or I don't know what body fat percentage he is, but let's just say he's at like 5% body fat. Um, so you might think to yourself, oh, because he looks this way at 5% body fat, all I have to do is get to 5% body fat and I'll look exactly the same. But it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way at all. <laughs> um, and most of that is due to like genetics, things that you can't really control. Um, because different people are going to hold their body fat differently than other people. Um, so, for example, uh, if you want to keep talking about Matt Ogus, uh, he doesn't hold a whole lot of fat over like his abs, so his abs look pretty good even off season. Um, but he has a problem with holding most of his fat um, on his back. My point is that uh, different people are going to look different at different or at the same body fat percentage. You might look completely different than somebody else who has the same body fat percentage as you. So it's not very useful for comparing yourself to others. Let's get into the different methods or the different I guess the most common methods of measuring body fat percentage. Uh, and I'm going to start with what I think is the least accurate and then we're going to move up to the most accurate. Um, so the least accurate way of measuring body fat percentage, as far as I know, um, is called anthropometric. I don't know if I said that right. But it's basically when they use um, a tape measure and they measure different circumferences. So they might take the circumference of like your waist and your neck or something like that. I don't know what sites they measure. but Basically, they're using circumference to um, kind of guess your body fat percentage, I guess. Um, and this is very inaccurate because it's not using, I mean, it's not measuring anything other than circumference. Like, you might just have, like, a really wide frame at your waist or something like that. So, uh, that's probably the way, worst way to measure your body fat percentage. And then, I would say that the, the next worst way, or the next <laughs> least accurate way of measuring body fat percentage is body impedance analysis, which is... Um, like you might see like those scales that have the little things on the bottom where you put your feet or uh, a lot of gyms have those ones where you like you hold it out in front of you and like has the two uh, things the little metal parts for your hands um, and basically what it is is it's based on the idea that uh, your lean body mass has a different conductivity than your fat mass which is true but um, a lot of it is based on like a lot of different things can affect that like your height um, your weight, like your overall weight, and um, your how how well hydrated you are has like a huge impact on that. So, uh, for example, I think maybe five or six weeks ago, in my physiological science class, um, for a lab, I had to measure my body fat percentage, and all we had is one of those scales, right? And uh, I stepped on the scale and I measured in at uh, I think it was like 26 point something percent body fat. Uh, I don't know about you, but I don't think I'm 26% body fat. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure that same week I was, let's see, like 10 weeks, 9 to 10 weeks out, so I was maybe like 8% body fat, uh, measured with skin fold calipers. So, I mean, the margin of error is pretty damn big with a body and penis analysis scale, so I would say scrap that. The only reason that they still exist, in my opinion, is because they're easy. I mean, all you have to do is hold it or like step on the scale it requires like no knowledge no technique or whatever and it's just it's a really easy way like very accessible for everybody um, and then the next most accurate way and I think the way that most people should be measuring the body fat percentage is with skin fold calipers and the reason I say that this is like the best way um, is it's not the most accurate um, but it is the cheapest and it's pretty easy to do um, and all it is is like little plastic calipers I have some right here um, they look like this uh, you can get them for like, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks. And what you do is, um, or the most accurate way that I know of doing it is they have three different sites. And I'll show you how to do this later. Um, basically, you take skin folds and you measure the thickness of the skin fold. And then based on those measurements, you get a body fat percentage. Um, and this is pretty accurate, about as accurate as you're going to get without spending a whole lot of money. Um, but yeah, we'll get into that later. Uh... And then the next most accurate way is hydrostatic weighing, which is like, basically they dunk you in a tank underwater and you breathe all your air out, uh, and then they weigh you. 
basically. Because obviously um, your body fat has, uh, it's less dense than your lean, your lean body mass and your fat is generally going to tend to float and your lean mass is going to tend to sink. So based on your weight while you're underwater without any air in you, uh, that's how they tell how much is fat, how much is muscle. The only thing that kind of sucks about this is that um, there's not many places that can do this and for those places that do do this, uh, it costs usually quite a bit of money. Um, and then, although I will say that is probably one of the most, or that's the second most accurate way that I know of to measure your body fat percentage. And the most accurate way, um, something sort of new, it's called, sorry I'm reading this off of my computer screen, um, it's called dual energy x-ray absorptiometry. Absor I don't know if I said the last part right. But um, it's called DEXA for short. Basically what it is, it uses x-rays. Um, to tell how much of your body mass is mineral mass, so like bones, um, how much of it is soft lean mass, or soft fat-free mass, which is like your muscle tissue, your organs, um, connective tissue, stuff like that. And then the last part is the fat mass. And uh, the reason that I think this is probably the best way to measure is, uh, or in terms of accuracy at least, um, the best way to measure is because it separates your body mass into three different components, which is uh, obviously mineral mass, lean body mass, and fat mass, whereas um, everything else kind of separates only into uh, fat mass and lean body mass. Um, and although this is the most accurate by far, uh, it's not very reasonable for most people because a single scan can cost anywhere from like 200 to maybe 500 or however many hundreds of dollars. Uh, so even for like a professional bodybuilder, it's not really that practical. Alright guys, so now I'm going to try to show you how to measure your body fat with these calipers. Um, so there's three sites that you're going to measure. The first one is going to be, um, oh by the way, don't do this sitting down. The only reason I'm doing it sitting down is because that's the only way you can really see all the measurement sites. But yeah, so you're going to do this standing up, uh, completely relaxed, or as relaxed as you can get. Um, and it helps to do it in a mirror because then you can kind of see uh, the little arrows better um, but yeah the first measurement site is going to be if you take a if you do a line from your nipple to the corner of your armpit halfway in between that line so like right here is going to be your first site second site is going to be they say an inch over from your belly button so generally what I do is I put my thumb here at my belly button my index finger all the way out here and then uh, the way you take your skin fold is you're going to take both fingers however far apart so that that measurement site is in between your fingers then you're going to push in pretty hard. Um, so you're going to push in until you feel your muscle mass underneath. And then, like I said, relax. And then you're going to pinch and pull away a little bit. And then once you have that pull away, this is going to be like the, the highest point of the skin fold and the lowest point in the skin fold. You want to take your calipers and put it right in between the two. And then when the two arrows line up, you look at the number that you have and you record that reading. Uh, and then the last sight is going to be Myron leg? Just kidding. <laughs> the last side is going to be halfway between your knee and the crease of your thigh. So you bent your leg halfway in between. So like right here. And the same thing. Push in, pinch, pull away. Take your measurement. And then uh, what I would recommend is after you get all three measurements, add them all together and then repeat. Add them all together and then repeat. Add them all together. And then you have those three different totals that you have. Um, you're going to take the average of those three totals and uh, then you'll have your totals, your total average and then most of these um, kits or the calipers, they come with either a chart or something like this. Mine has like this little wheel thing where basically you find your age and you line it up with your total skin fold measurement. So my totals right now are 24 millimeters altogether between the three which according to this puts me at just under 6% and one thing I will say is that um, this might not be 100% accurate in terms of your actual body fat percentage but it is fairly accurate and even if it's not uh, it will be a very consistent way of measuring kind of where you're at so let, like let's say like there's a 3% margin of error that 3% margin of error is always going to be 3% so as I'm getting leaner I'm still going to be getting leaner according to this. And as I'm getting fatter, the same thing the other way around. Um, so although I might not be 6% body fat or whatever, um, this is a good way of me tracking my progress to make sure that I'm getting leaner. 
Um, so, yeah, if you want to track your body fat, pick up one of these. Unless you're rich, go ahead and do DEXA or whatever. But uh, that's it, so I'll see you guys next time.